Hello everyone. This video, I am going to explain about KFSM so called NFX. First, we will see steps involved in the conversion. Build a deterministic. First step is compute sound of for each epsilon epsilon required to handle the epsilon transition. Next, we are going to compute in the start state s dash, which can be calculated by s dash equal to epsilon of a where uh, s will be s is start state of the NDFSM. After that, third step will be compu compute active state. Active state built by uh, developing the transition function for FSM from NDFSM. Finally, decide the set of states. So, all the states we have got from to k dash. Next, uh, among the k dash, you decide the accepting states. Now, the next first step will understand how to, to compute epsilon closure. So, epsilon closure, as I told previously, to handle the epsilon transition that are present in the which are not allowed, that is, uh, epsilons are not allowed in the DF. Now, let me find the epsilon closure for all the states that are present. First, I will calculate the epsilon closure of Q0. Whenever you are finding the epsilon closure of Q, first you put the state that are state for that we find the epsilon. Add Q here. After that, you from Q via epsilon trans can add uh, which other state from Q0. Take epsilon transition and you go to one take epsilon transition then go to q take epsilon transition then you will come to what so you are not going to repeat the states but uh, not any other uh, path is not available via epsilon transition that's why epsilon closure of q one q and q not itself so i'm writing in the order not q two two we have epsilon closure of q1 Epsilon closure of Q, Q1 to Q2, Q2 to Q0 via Epsilon and Q0 again back to Q1. That means it is same as the previous one, Q0, Q1, Q2. Similarly, we can get Epsilon closure of Q, which will be Q0, Q1. Finally, Epsilon closure of Q3 will be Q3. That's there is uh, no Epsilon transitions from it. So here we'll consider an example to build a DFSM from NDFSM. The first step is compute epsilon closure of Q for each state that are present in the NDFSM. So first we'll see epsilon, first we'll find epsilon closure of Q1. So from Q1 taking epsilon transition, we can get Q2 and Q2 oh, you, uh, taking a transition on epsilon, you can get Q7. No further transitions can be added. So always remember when this, this state has to be added here to Q1, then from Q1 to Q2 by epsilon from Q2 to Q7. No further states can be added from epsilon closure of Q2. So first of all, we'll add this Q2 from Q2, taking epsilon transition maximum, you can add only one state that is Q7. So Q2 at Q7. Epsilon closure of Q6 will be from Q6, Q, taking epsilon transition, only one transition path we get. So that will give you Q2 from Q2 further, uh, taking epsilon transition, we get Q7. So the epsilon closure of Q6 will be Q2, Q6 and Q7. For the other states, there is no epsilon transition. That is why uh, uh, from those states, that is why it is epsilon closure of Q3 will be Q3, epsilon closure of Q4 will be Q4 and Q7 will be Q7 and Q8 will be Q8. Next step is to 
find the start state S for the DFSM. S dash will be equal to epsilon closure of S. S is the start state of NDFSM. The start state of NDFSM is epsilon, uh, epsilon, Q1. So epsilon of epsilon closure of Q1 will be Q1, Q2, Q7. Once after finding the start state, next we have to build a uh, active states. Uh, so that means you, you need to compute a delta dash, that is a transition function for the DFSM. Now, so here I'm going to build the active states in the uh, table format. So all the rows represents the states and all the columns represents the input symbol. Input symbol you can observe here are only A, B and C. And epsilon can't be a input symbol. Now, the first active states need to be a start state of the DFSM. This is the start state of DFSM. This is the start state of DFSM. So add that, so we get Q1, Q2, Q7. How do we get uh, the new active states here? Q1 on A doesn't make any transition. Q2 on A doesn't make any transition. Q7 on A doesn't make any transition, so it is null. Now let's check for this. So we have three states in this state. So okay, see, remember this will be a one state in case of uh, DFSM. So Q1, Q2, Q7, you should see uh, where it is going to make a transition on B. Q1 on B, it is going to make a transition to itself. So that's why we need to add here epsilon of Q1. Q, Q2 on B making a transition to Q3 and Q5, that is why epsilon of Q3 union epsilon of Q5 and then uh, Q7 on B is making a transition to Q8, that's why epsilon of Q8, epsilon of Q8. So this will give us the states Q1, Q2, Q3, Q5, Q7, Q8 and remember here we should not repeat any states. Next, Q1, Q2, Q7 on C is not making a transition on uh, Q1, Q2, Q7 is not making a transition on C. That is why it is null. Next, how to add the next state? So, see, always you go on adding the states here from the these rows. First, include from this. Next, include from this row. Next, include from this row until you don't get a uh, new state. Now, first of all, null is the new state I'm going to get. So, add it here. So, null on all uh, input will be always null. Null on all the input will be null. Next, after adding this, this I finished adding. Next, add this. So, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q5, Q7, Q8 on A is what? Q1 on A is uh, null, okay, so no adding, Q2 on A is null, so no adding, Q3 on A is taking us to Q4, so epsilon of Q4 union, Q3 on, no, no, next is Q5, Q5 on A is taking us to Q6, so add epsilon of Q6. Then uh, Q7 and Q8 is not making a transition on A, so leave it. So this will give us epsilon of Q4 will be Q4, Q6 will be Q2, Q6, Q7. Similarly, we can add or find the other active states on for, uh, for B and C. These are the states we are going to get. Now once adding this, so with this it is done. With this, it's done. So last uh, state in the row is null, which is already present in the among the active states. No, no adding null again. So this row is also finished. Now we'll come to Q2, Q4, Q6 that we can add. So find the new states on, on A, B, C input symbol. Okay, once after finding for Q2, Q4, Q7, this is also done. Next, we need to add the state. Similarly, go on adding the new states from the each row until you don't get any new state.
all these states I'm going to get from the previous slide. It's a continuation of that. See, here I have Q2, Q7. Finally, I'll get from this. So null is already added. Then I will get. I finished from the. Uh, I finished uh, the new states from all uh, the. From the previous slide. Now Q2, Q7. I'm going to add Q2, Q, Q7 is going to give me these new states. Uh, these are not new states. Null Q3, Q5, Q8. Once this is done. Q2, Q4, Q6, Q7 is already added. So next Q2, Q6 that is also added. Q4 is also added. Okay, all these I'm going to. These are the new states I'm going to get the, from the previous slide. So once only Q2, Q7, Q2, Q7 is also added. See, you, we are uh, getting the re states repeatedly. That is already which are already existing. Q2, Q6, Q7. Finally, the state I'm going to add and that is going to give me null Q3, Q5, Q8, and Q2, Q7. And all these states are already present in the active states. Next, once uh, it's done, uh, write k dash. Put all the active states uh, that is present in the uh, active states column under uh, k dash and among this you decide a dash how to decide a dash so from the ndfsm it is clear that q8 is the uh, from the ndfsm it's clear that q8 is the accepting states so you just include uh, those states that is having q8 so I'm adding here this this entire state I'm writing here this state I'm writing here and this state I'm writing here. So using uh, these uh, k dash a dash and transition function you can also build a DFSM. So this is about NDFSM to DFSM conversion.